It's a rare aquarium in the Canadian wild. This is one of the biggest aquariums in West Vancouver, so let's go check it out. The water's fine. Well, the electric eel here, see, I've never seen one of these in any other aquarium in the North and North America. But um, it's deadly to its prey because it sort of, it will creep up and it doesn't need to do any jaw or action before it devours the prey. What it will do is it will sense with its nodes on its head up the front, those little holes there, and it will sense and then it will send out a spark and kind of stun its prey and then go up and just eat it. And wow! It's a really fascinating little animal, isn't it? Isn't it? It's known as the common orange jellyfish. It's a uh, very fantastic thing. You, uh, it's a single cell organism. You don't think so, but it is because it's so big. But it's, it's just got a one cell, only one cell. Only six atoms that make up one cell. So, you know, as you can see, it swims like a like a jelly, like a, any normal jellyfish would. But uh, it's it's fine. You know, I like it. It's cool. Now, if there's one thing that always brightens up someone's day at an aquarium, if you're hungry or you're down, it's a dolphin. Okay. Now, follow me, and I'm going to show you exactly how these fantastic mammals can brighten up your day. Look at him. Look at how graceful he is. Look in there, Sam. Can't see one. There's one right there. Turn right there. Shh, shh, shh. See him right there? He's diving down right now. Wow. Be quiet. Keep your voices down because they're very really shy animals. An aquarium is not their natural environment. Where is their natural environment? Somewhere in the sea. Somewhere in the sea. Whether it's a pond or a lake, I'm not sure. It's somewhere in the sea, in the water, in the ocean, in the lakes, in the rivers. In the rivers? <laughs> Now isn't he beautiful? Look at him. Come on, wow. he's gonna come right up close wow. here. He's now, coming right up to the... Shh, shh. Now isn't he beautiful, isn't he? Isn't he? Shh. God, you know what? I've been to one zoo before in my whole life. It's called Auckland Zoo. They have these otters. They're about this big and I'm like, that's what I'm expecting to see. Look at the size of these goddamn motherfucking sea otters. They're so, so big. You know, you know, look at how cheeky that otter is. He just had a look at me. He's like, what up, yo? Come and visit me. And I'm like, yo, what up, mom? So look at him. Look at him. You can see why they can grab the oysters and, and the scallops and they just smash it on their bellies. They smash it on their bellies. I'll tell you what, though. One thing that's bad about the sea otters, they smell like a goddamn aquarium right up in your fucking nostrils, right up in there. It smells really bad right up in there, but you know what? They're so beautiful, I just don't even give a fuck right now. Walking in the natural habitat on a coral coast, it's one thing that you need to watch out for, and that's the stingray, the blue spotted stingray. With two barbs on its back, there's a heavy poison that's in juice when it comes into your skin. Now, you want to be careful. Because once this poison's in your skin, it's only a matter of hours until you're flat on the ground. This animal, it goes all across the ocean, the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian. It finds its nest in certain different places, usually on beaches where it's a large contributor to the natural ecosystem. What animal is it? It's a green sea turtle. Now look up, and you see how graceful it is in the water, you see? You can see it looking at us right now, it's interested, it's intrigued, okay? It wants to know more about humans, it's got a brain the size of a bell, an apple in there. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the movie Moby Dick, but I'll tell you one thing's for sure. If Captain Ahab was here, he'd be like, BAM! He'd be like, BAM! Because guess what? There's two white whales right there. They're called beluga whales. They're not very common around this side of town, but there's one right there. Look at him. Look at him. He's big. He's big. He's not as big as a blue whale, but he's a lot bigger than a, 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 a little dolphin, say, or something like that. Look how long he is. He's like three, three meters long. He's probably about this long. Look, he's probably about this long. Look, there goes another one. Bam! Beluga whale. White whale. Right in your face. Other, we've just entered the most dangerous zone in the aquarium. This is the Amazon zone. Look down here, shh, be quiet, and you can see the Ari Palmer, Ari Palmer. In Amazon legend, this fish would actually devour infants. It was such a uh, prized game fish, and it was something that very be revered and scared of within the Amazon jungle and river system.
you have never seen something like this before. It's known to the scientists as a hyacinth macaw, but we like to call it a big blue parrot. Look at him. He's big, he's blue, and you know what? He's a motherfucking parrot. I think this is a crocodile or an alligator, but sorry, you're wrong. This is a caiman. This is a crossbreed between the two that's found in the Amazon jungle and is quickly going extinct due to its skin to make coats. Now get a closer look because it's a fascinating animal and it might be the last time you see one in the wild. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, mate, it's beautiful, mate. Beautiful. We're gonna exit through the gift shop. Follow me.